Hi Libra, welcome to your what you need to hear right now, general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Libra. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Libra. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Libra and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl here to clear, set the energy, and do a mini meditation with you guys. But if you just want to jump right on into the card poll to see what the cards have to say, check out the pinned comment below with all the timestamps. For those of you with me now, thank you so much for joining me here. It does help me connect with your energy doing this mini meditation. So I'm going to ask everyone to take a deep breath in, ring the sound bowl three times, and during that, I just want you to open up your energy to ask the questions you have in regards to your love life. If there is a special someone, think about them, and if you're just open to seeing what's coming in, just be open to it. So let's go ahead and take that deep breath in. and tune into the energy of Libra. Well, what I saw in my mind's eye was just someone scrolling through Instagram. It looked like the person was scrolling through someone's Instagram that they had feelings for, cared about. They would scroll and stop on a photo, look at it, click into it, see who commented. So I don't know if this is you doing your research, Libra. I wonder if someone has a prominent social media following, especially on Instagram or just in general. But... I wonder, we'll pull cards, it feels like an I miss you type of vibe. So I wonder if this is a past energy or someone that you broke things off with but still is hanging on. Big time here. They may act like they're over it, but they're absolutely not, I want to say. But again, this could just be someone that you're currently talking to that has been showing off your Instagram, has been showing off social media. And even if you guys don't have social media, then it could just be like, them trying to get more information in general, Googling your name, asking people about you. Uh, this person is definitely the type that likes to do their research before they really commit and dedicate to any type of situation, relationships. So they are definitely on the internet a lot. They could even work at a tech company for some of you guys I'm kind of picking up on. But I want to see what this is all about. Let's go ahead and get into the cards. So Spirit, tell me about what Libra needs to hear right now in regards to their love life, what is happening, unfolding, what they need to be aware of, what they need to know about this energy around them, of what's going on, any information you can provide we would be very thankful for. Tell me about the energy surrounding Libra Spirit. Ooh, there we go. Separation. Okay, that's the answer. And it says, time apart for your partners on the horizon. So some of you guys may have just recently been in the separation or it's been going on, I would say for like at most a couple months. But again, I'm just saying how I feel. If it's longer than that, then go right ahead. But the letter S is sticking out to me as in Sean, as in Sarah, first, middle, last, initial could mean something to someone here. But yeah, they're having a hard time with this separation, Libra. And I feel like this is the type that acts like everything's fine, but it's like Elmo and the flames actually in their like inner selves going on with that meme. So yeah, very interesting about this. And especially if they found out that like you're doing well or that you're gaining a lot of attraction, it's hurting them big time. 
And I guess the reason why you need to know this is maybe you've been picking up on their energy. Maybe you've been seeing that they've been adding you or looking at your social media a bit more or have been hearing that they've been talking about you to other people. These are all signs that they're still not over it, Libra. But I feel like to you, they just want to play it cool, play it off like it's whatever. But their actions are showing something completely different here. I'm seeing a backwards baseball hat. I don't know if that's something you or they wear a lot. Tell me more about this energy. Ooh, okay. Soulmate. Oof. Okay, they feel like you're their soulmate, Libra. That's why they're not over it. They still feel like you guys have a purpose that was not completed, that hasn't been settled. And I wonder, Libra, like, if at a period of time you felt the same way, but then kind of realized that they weren't willing to change. That's kind of what I feel here. You feel like as if you tried to make all the effort and they were just meeting you halfway, thinking that that would ever be enough. And maybe something happened around winter that made it kind of done for good. And they still think about you. They still reminisce about you. And the energetic cord between the two of you is still very strong. And that's why, A, they're showing up in your reading now. And B, that you think about them from time to time is because they think about you 10 times more. And I feel like they're manifesting you too. Manifesting you to come back or manifesting you to reach out. But part of the problem is like, well, why don't you do it? Maybe you have them blocked. I don't know. But they found other ways of getting to your social media. Definitely. I'm seeing like see dark blue eyes that someone could have as well. You may have them or they do. They have something that is yours. I wonder if it's a shirt or a jacket that still smells like you. I know this sounds kind of weird, but they like definitely hold it. And when they smell it, it like reminds them of you again. So let's go ahead and get into the tarot to see what this is about. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the page of cups. So this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But regardless of the signs, they're in their feelings. And I could see why maybe some of you kind of decided to separate because page of cups could sometimes be very immature energy and I do fe definitely feel like they feel you're ignoring them and that's been really hard on them four of swords crossing the situation yeah you guys haven't talked for t some time at least four weeks um libra energy some of you could possibly be dealing with another libra or someone with a strong libra in their chart yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get all the cards out first and then we're gonna do a deep dive here Mm. Oh dear Libra, we got to talk about this person. They're fixated on you now that you're not around. Isn't that interesting? When you were there, it was kind of like they were lazy, didn't put the effort in, didn't make the commitment. And now that you're gone, this is when they want to put all their energy into it. Okay. So bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups. This is Pisces energy. Wow, some of you guys may have recently broken up out of a relationship or this is the last person you were in a relationship with. And I guess in their mind, they thought they had it all, but I don't feel like you were very happy, Libra. But they still, to their friends and family members, wanted to sell the idea that you guys were perfect for each other, that everything was fine, everything was going well. This is definitely someone that likes to um, bury their emotions and kind of deny any problems between the two of you or deny any unhappiness between the two of you. And that just couldn't, you didn't allow that anymore, Libra. And I feel as if they put a lot of blame on to like you giving up, but they didn't give you a lot to keep going for it. And with this 10 of cups energy, I do feel like their family members and friends are very aware that they still are in love with you or care about you because they talk about you a lot still. They bring you up a lot. And maybe you guys spent like a family holiday with them last year, Christmas, Thanksgiving, um, you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, I don't know. And um, 
they really thought that this was going to be the Ten of Cups for them. And I think at one point you did too, Libra, until things started not working for you anymore. The immaturity, the ineffort with the Seven of Pentacles and waiting around for nothing to happen. But man, yeah, they're still consumed by you. They still really do believe you are the person that they're meant to be with this lifetime. And that's why they're having a hard time with this right now, Libra. I want to clarify this Ten of Cups. When did this go wrong or what is the deal with this? Queen of Swords in reverse. <sighs> Libra energy. And tell me more. The Sun in reverse. Bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. Whoa. Okay, so with the Queen of Swords in reverse, I'm getting two different situations, so you're going to have to intuitively decipher which one you're in. Someone didn't feel heard. Someone didn't feel like everything that they were telling that they needed from another person was actually being understood. And someone felt like their truth had to kind of diminish the more they were with this person. And that's where their shine kind of gave away with the sun in reverse. Yeah, I really do feel, Libra, you just weren't happy with who they are, where everything was for as long as you guys were together. You expected more. And they fell short. And instead of wanting to talk it out and work it out, they would just deny, deny, deny. And... Others of you, if this person represents Queen of Swords in reverse energy, behind closed doors, they were very um, critical. They like to, you know, if things weren't going a part of their daydream scenario about you or if you weren't playing along with the BS, you would call them out and then things would get nasty and they would go for low blows and say mean things and just... People also witnessed your guys' fights quite often and it would make people feel uncomfortable and you maybe even felt like Libra being with this person took you out of your element into something that you didn't want to be a part of. And so some of you kind of just saw that this was creating an element within you that was not what you wanted to be. And something very big happened in the summertime. I don't think it led up to the full breakup that I feel winter was, but like, I don't know, some argument that helped you see things a lot more clearly than you did before. And I do think Libra, even if this person was trying to play it out like everything was fine, people noticed that you weren't okay. And maybe out of protection for that person, when people would ask like, what's wrong, like, are you okay? You would just kind of shrug it off, but that was still, again, diminishing your truth. But Two of Cups, yeah, I think there was a time when both of you thought you were going to be together, that you guys had a soul bond here, an emotional bond, but it didn't play out that way. And I think for this being at the bottom of the deck, you know that there's something better out there for you that would flow so much easier and mend so much easier than the two of you. I feel like you guys were opposites, but almost like water and oil. Um, I know some people say opposites attract, but it was actually both of you guys were just on different pages from what I see. And I think that's something you all could also recognize, Libra. And I'm seeing one person that quit drinking while the other person continued. And that could have also provided some discourse within the connection as well. But the dead center of this is the Page of Cups. This is water energy. Like I said, someone, this person could be younger than you, Libra, or at least emotionally, they're more immature than you are. And in this specific deck, this card symbolizes jealousy. So yeah, I, I, I'm seeing that little bit of a obsession there that is making them more upset, making them more hurt, especially seeing if you're doing so well or you're fine without them or even if some of you guys have been going on dates or hanging out with people that they suspect you're hooking up with, it like un it unsettles something with them in them. Like I'm seeing kind of like an internal bomb go off. But they just wanna keep it to themselves. Again, it's an insecurity for them. And I definitely feel like they 
have tried to reach out to you before, but you either blocked or just left it on red and it's still messing with them big time emotionally. And I do think like they're trying to spin a story to other people that other people are like, I don't know about that. Like, oh, Libra did this. Libra wasn't ready. Libra couldn't. And they're like, mm. even their friends are a little bit like, I saw what was really happening. So this person definitely, I feel, has a problem with accepting reality. And although there may have been like a bond there emotionally, like it still wasn't enough for you to stay. What's crossing this is the Four of Swords. Libra energy. Sorry, guys, I have to censor the nudity because YouTube's community guidelines are a little strict. But yeah, the silence is driving them crazy. And especially if there's ignoring, if there's even like just breadcrumbing. Like, I, I've almost seen like someone sent a message recently or maybe one of the last messages they sent with only a thumbs up. And that was it. And they just can't stand the fact that it's like this between the two of you now. I'm hearing that song by Gautier, Now You're Just Somebody That I Used To Know. And they feel almost as if, like, again, whether this is true or not, right, not everyone's perspectives of a situation is what we perceive it to be, but they feel like you just easily chucked it out the door and threw it all away. And this person hates being ignored. I mean, we all do, but this person like takes it at such a personal offensive level, level, it definitely wounds their pride in a way. And I think even like out of the blue, they tried to send you like a sexual text message and it went unnoticed and that embarrassed them for those of you that resonates with big time. What's crowning this is the seven of pentacles, Taurus energy. Yeah, so they are seeing that you're not really taking much initiative in trying to make anything happen. You have observed all the effort you put in to see the crop grow, and the crop was disappointing, let's just say. So with the Seven of Pentacles energy, you also kind of just felt they were, um, if it's not lazy, then it was just inactive. Like, they didn't try, in your opinion. And this is Taurus energy, by the way, crowning it. And it just hurt you for the fact that they wouldn't even take the first step or even try to compromise. Or if they're very much like, they act like they're very easygoing, but they're very much set in their ways. And I do kind of feel even financially or career wise, you guys were just kind of excelling at a level that they didn't want to try to catch up with. So maybe even like they would just overstay at your house or like have you pay for certain bills or pay for the food more often than they would pay for gas. And it's like, okay, you know, like I don't mind helping out when I need to, but this has been going on for too long. Especially those that were unemployed and just remained unemployed and didn't have initiative to change anything about that. And I think like part of what you did enjoy with this person was, you know, the times where it was just the two of you. I don't know. I feel like when they're around other people, they put on some sort of facade that's not really them. But when it's you two, it's like you see that you're comfortable with each other. You make each other laugh. You can be goofy around another like. But again, it was just something where the maturity wasn't at the same level that you're coming from, Libra. Someone could also have a red couch or red bed sheets or even like red leather interior car seats. And you definitely like, especially with, for a few of you where I was picking up like the quitting the drinking while the other did, like you definitely used to party a lot together, go out a lot together and have some wild nights. But again, that's something you kind of outgrew of while they still stayed behind in that. Now, what's rooting this is the hanged man. Pisces energy. So, Libra, I just want to say that this person is still, like, waiting. They just really have convinced themselves that, you know, even if Libra's ignoring me now, it won't be for long. Libra eventually will come back. Like, 
And in the meantime, they can't help but like literally mentally, spiritually fixate on you, wondering what you're doing, wondering what you're up to, wondering what you're hiding. Like it's constant for them. And I think, Libra, for this to be rooting for you, um, the situation here is just, yeah, you're spiritually and, you know, psychically and vibrationally on a different level. And I think it had to kind of a certain situation that happened really made you see the truth where I, you for a long time were also caught up in the fantasy of what could be. But when reality hit kind of hard, there was something you woken to that you couldn't unsee then. And it's, again, they feel left alone. They feel like you're leaving them hanging. But again, I think that's just another excuse as to why they can't really cope with what has happened between the two of you and their part in it in a lot of ways. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. So when I pick this up, I feel on your end or whoever's end, again, if Crosswatcher, if this was all Libra doing this to you, just flip it around. But someone decided that they wanted more and they needed more and they deserved more. Queen of Pentacles is someone that is very giving, but not to a fault. When the Queen of Pentacles sees that they're over giving and it's going underappreciated or is not amounting to anything, that's when they decide, all right, I need to bring this energy, this work to myself to build myself up again and to move forward and try to find someone that can have my stability, that can have my loyalty. And I think that's something they feel missing in their lives, that loyalty and stability that you provided them for so long. But you weren't going to do it forever if they weren't going to meet you halfway. I'm tasting pineapple in my mouth. Maybe someone likes to drink pineapple juice or like a cocktail with pineapple in it or um, I don't know why I was tasting that. But, um, you know, if this is them, like <laughs> they haven't found someone that they feel has the value of you, that they feel equates to you. They really think with this Queen of Pentacles, not, no one really compares to you, Libra. They loved your feet, by the way, or maybe your toes. Something about feet here. Um, maybe they were into feet secretly that you know about. But yeah, I think that now they feel as if you've gone kind of cold. And really to see where you were once so giving and have that all be taken away is something that they don't know how to handle right now. They don't know how to deal with it. Someone could have been like homecoming king or queen back in their day. Um, yeah, I don't know. You have this like grace about you that is very poised, like very refined. And especially if they were, you felt like they were just, you know, making you wait too long, you knew that there was someone out there that was going to be ready to have that serious term type of partnership that they were just keep kept on putting off. And especially if you guys did something recently where you posted about it or people have been talking about it where it got back to them of some sort of achievement as far as your career or finances go, they wish they could have told you congratulations. They wish they could have reached out, but they feel like you would have just gone ice again and ignored them. Maybe they were right. Someone could always wear a bun in their hair or even have like a man bun or something like that. But yeah, they're hurting Libra. And I guess why Spirit wants you to know this is because I do feel a lot of you guys more than recent, more than ever before have been picking up on their energy. I wonder if the month of March when I'm recording this, um, this is timeless, but for some like something of an anniversary or someone's birthday or someone's celebration of something has happened that is really making them think of you twice as much, which is bringing all these feelings up again. Wow. All right, Libra, 
to see the likely outcome of this situation, what is likely to happen and unfold from now to the end of the you know, month or anytime soon that you need to hear about this, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. For my longtime subscribers, you know how I used to do it. We're going to get all the way into the energy, sensually, sexually, anything that else you need to know about your love life. It's going to be raw, real, and something you need to hear. So if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where you depart, Libra, I really hope that this is giving you some sort of clarity, insight, healing, and guidance in regards to whatever you need to hear about at this time about your love life. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Libra, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Libra.